بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ویلکم اسٹوڈنٹ ٹو دا لیکچر تھری آف انٹروڈکشن ٹو کمپیوٹنگ کورس ان دا پریویس لیکچر وی ڈسکسڈ اباؤٹ دا فنڈامنٹل کمپوننٹس آف اے کمپیوٹر سسٹم وی ڈسکس سم امپارٹنٹ فیچرس آف کمپیوٹر اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ان دس لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس نیٹ ورکس اینڈ دا انٹرنیٹ سو نیٹورکس and the internet are almost now an integral part of our, of our life so understanding them and uh, getting uh, like uh, knowing uh, how they work how different computer interacts uh, and how like uh, how uh, can we benefits from the network and the internet is very important so with that um, today we are going to dis- recognize the purpose of a network and then we are going to discuss the use of internet and the world wide web uh, we are also going to recognize the difference between installing and running a computer program uh, we are going to identify the various types of software uh, describe the categories of computer system and then we are also going to determine how the elements of information system interact we are also going to discuss identify the various types of computer users and uh, at the end inshallah we are going to discuss the computer application in society so in the previous class we discussed that why is like computer so powerful and why is computer so much important like why everyone is using computer there are some uh, fundamental basic some important features or attributes that make a computer system powerful look the first thing is like if you if you want to do a lot of work and it could take like millions of people and it could take uh, hundreds of years to do that task amazingly interestingly computer will do it within few seconds or even less than a second so that is how the speed is a great uh, feature of a computer system that make it so powerful so just because of this speeds we can see that that a lot of data is processed a lot of data is communicated data is processed into information and uh, like uh, they there is no queue uh, and there is no waiting so that is a very fundamental and a turning point where computer uh, surpasses um, like the working of a human being um and like other system the second point is that we discussed is that computer is a very reliable machine like you can depend upon it why because uh, now computer is not new the history of computer is almost about 70 years uh, when people started using computer system so the computer scientists and computer professionals are testing those hardware those those softwares making them reliable making them robust making sure that the component of different computer system and the modules of different software works uh, reliably and accurately and uh, computer like also provide us the storage like we can store a lot of information in a very small uh, space like on a hard disk or hard disk like it's it's much more smaller than even the size of your hand so still like we can store gigabytes or terabytes or picobytes of data inside that hard disk so these these are the advantages that we in this age the people the human being of this age are getting out of computer system and of course we use computer system like smartphones and uh, computer system for email for communication like you do so many messages uh, you read messages you like you can transfer information you can transfer videos so there is lot of communication and there there are lot of different types of software we can like simply text message we can video call we can audio call so all these benefits are provided to us by a computer system and that is what these attributes makes a computer system a powerful machine so with that um, today as i discussed we are going to discuss what are networks and what is the internet so you can say that simply if, if somebody ask you what is a network network is when you connect two devices like when you connect two computers in a simple term you can say it's a collection of computers and other devices like servers like printers like routers switches etc connected together 
why in order to transfer data in order to transfer information in order to share resources share hardware and software resources so that is why like uh, computers networks are there and that that is what computer network is so we also have communication devices um, that enables connection between computers just as i said um, there are types of different types of modems switches routers and like even there are different types of switches there are different types of routers and modems that you can use and uh, we also have communication media which allows uh, uh, which provide a medium to the data to travel from one computer to another computer so we can have cables like coaxial cable utp cables etc we already have telephone lines that can be used to like uh, connect computers that can be used to provide dsl internet connection cable connection etc we also have cellular like today you see that in your smartphone you have uh, 3g 4g even 5g connection so that is all because we are using the cellular radio signal in order to connect computers together and there is also satellite communication um, which provide uh, like which facilitate computers to Uh, send a large amount of data so uh, things are improving people are getting uh, connected together and um, today is information age and all of these are happening just because we have computer network so why we why do we need computer network because we need to share share what we need to share resources like hardware resources hardware devices like we share printers we share screens computer screens computer monitors we share hard disk computer storage space and we share scanners and there are lots of lots of other information we share camera like there is one camera that is com- connected to many other devices many other computers we also share software programs like a single software program then can be distributed to multiple computers uh, more importantly we share data we share a processed data called information so all these benefits uh, uh, these are the benefits that computer networks give us okay why do we share these information in order to save time and money money like look if you if you if there are no computer networks and you are sharing information um, to your friend so it may take a day or a week or a month to share that but amazingly and interestingly within few seconds you can share that data um, to your friends by using computer network so that is how that is why we uh, um, save time and we also save our energy and save our money by using computer networks in order to compu- uh, uh, in order to share different resources so in order to understand what are computer networks and what is internet you have to have a good understanding of what is a server so now server manages the resources on the network and a client on the other hand accesses the resources on the server so you can see that we have this server computer and um, these two clients are connected to this server this server is further connected to this printer so these clients with the, are connected to server and server is providing like this hardware resources to this to these two clients so these two clients can access the these uh, hardware resources so with that let me also check the time so still we have a lot of time so i am going to once again i'm going to bring it down here okay so a client accesses the resources on the server and that is like it's very simple now um, what is internet now, now internet is a um, collection of public computers like any any computer having an internet protocol ip address can connect to the internet um, it's a public like everyone can connect to the internet there are lots of private networks like mm, these networks are used by privately by organization like we know that hsc has a network kohad university has also internal network and the banks have their network whereas hospitals have their network but there is a special type of network that anyone can use and that is called the internet 
I will be with the capital letter. So it's a worldwide connection of networks. So different networks are further connected together that connects millions of computers. So it is a worldwide collection of networks or worldwide collection of computers that that are connected together. So they are connected together by some uh, like defined uh, protocols and like and um, there is i mean more details uh, about protocols but for for this scope i think discussing protocol will be out of the scope but i mean there are agreed patterns and agreed rules uh, which a person or a computer has to follow in order to connect to the internet so with that um we move on and the other point is that why do the user access the internet so like why we people access the internet of course internet is a type of network so if it is a network then uh, it is used for primarily for communication purpose for sharing information like uh, this video is like i'll communicate this video to you people with the help of internet so this is the advantage of internet and this is why we use internet we share information we share information with our family members with friend any type of information it can be of a picture a text a video audio anything we do nowadays i mean there is a lot of hype of online shopping you can do online shopping uh, which says a lot of your time and energy there is a lot of option you can also analyze different trades uh, before um, doing uh, shopping or before before planning to buy something we i mean i have i told you in the class that we internet is can we use it um to for banking and investing in investing purpose like i told you in the class that i have hbl mobile app and every bank has their apps which you can download uh, from the google play store and install it and then you can use it so why uh, uh, for use it for what purpose you can use it to like recharge your mobile devices recharge your smartphone and you can you use it to transfer funds to transfer amounts you can use it to check your balance to check the history of your transaction you can use to pay uh, gas bill electricity bill water bills or whatever like there is a lot of facility that uh, 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 that is provided to you by the internet so uh, like it saves a lot of your energy and time like within a single click you are able to uh, do your work like submitting bills and transferring amounts etc you we also like uh, now in these um, quarantine days we also do online classes like uh, this is an example of online classes and all, almost through the world uh, now universities uh, online classes are very powerful uh, like distance learning is very powerful massive open online courses like coursera udemy udacity edx or these are very popular platform and i recommend you people to go and like access them watch their videos so you will have a better idea of what is like uh, uh, going on on the other universities what are their educational standard um, so it will benefit you a lot and of course people also use internet for entertainment purpose for watching movies for uh watching sports uh i usually watch footballs uh, uh like i i like football i like sports so most of the time when i am free so i like uh, so i'm watching uh, sports etc so and this is why we use the internet and we access the internet okay so now there is another important uh, uh term that you often Uh, listen and that is called world wide web www now world wide webs is a collection of billions of documents called web pages or web sites available to anyone connected to internet now what is a website a website is a collection of related web pages the web pages contain text graphics sound videos links to other web pages you can share information by creating web pages web page or posting photos on a photo community so there there is a lot of thing that you can do uh, web pages are nowadays websites are very powerful you know that in ecohart university there is an online system where you can get uh, apply online 
the attendance is online and you can uh, like uh, submit uh, assignment the grading is online so there is uh, a lot of advantages that we are getting from the web application from the website from web pages etc okay with that let us move on um, yes we also discussed that how to install and run a software program because a lot of time you will be using different types of software um, so how to now there is there is a difference between downloading and installing first you download it um, download is not an exe file not a runnable file then you have to double click on it and install it on a computer system and then you can run that software system a program normally is a series of instructions that tells the computer what to do so the step number one is that insert a program disk into the cd-rom drive now we do not have cd-rom drive most often we access or we download the software from the internet or we uh, like access it through the usb strict memory drive and then after the step two is install the software program by instruction on the disk and then you run that program and then in step number three the program gets executed so there is another term that now that is often used and that is called graphical user interface or gui it is pronounced as gui now the graphical user interface make your job very easy allows you to interact with the software using graphics and icon so just, you just have to push the button or click the icon controls how you enter data and how the screen display information so with the help of GUI software with the help of graphical user interface it is now very easy to use computer system and nowadays you see that computer system is used by even by children by teens by like by anyone so it is just because of GUI graphical user interface is so easy to use and there is another thing uh, that is called system software so what are system software system software has programs that control the operation of a computer's and its devices like your windows operating system like macintosh operating system unix linux etc so now what is operating system operating system is a set of program that coordinates all the activity on the computer hardware devices and allow user to run application device so first you have to install the system software you have to install the operating system after installing the operating system it is like a bridge between the hardware and between this application software so on top of operating system you install application software like microsoft office like your games like media player etc utility programs allow the user to perform maintenance type tasks usually related to managing a computer its device and its program so there are like calculator is a utility program your um, uh, drivers printer drivers and uh, like snipping zooming all these things are uh, utility program that you use so now the other term what is the application software so as i told you these soft these programs are installed on top of system software it's like on operating system and these are the pro programs that perform specific tasks for the users like microsoft office which contains word processing spreadsheet like microsoft excel and databases like microsoft access presentation like this one like powerpoint presentation graphic etc so now what is a who is a programmer someone who develops application or system software programmer writes instruction and directs the computer to process that data into information so programmer are very skillful powerful and talented people and so it needs a lot of hard work so there are in fact different categories of computer system the first one is a personal computer system um, like this is my own uh, laptop and, and it's, it's also called personal because i personally use it it is also called a desktop computer we also have mobile computer mobile devices like smartphone devices mid range server mainframe powerful super computers so all these are different types of computer that you can use but mostly mostly in your graduate study you are going to use a laptop or a personal computer so this is how like a personal computer look like pc and compat compatibles uh, uh, use the windows operating system so this is like you are on desktop computer system and this is another desktop computer system from apple macintosh uses the macintosh operating system also called mac os and, and this is the old type of uh, desktop device uh, designed so that all components fit uh, on or under a desk or a table so that is why it is called desktop 
device and uh, you know that nowadays notebooks are very common they are portable small enough to fit in your lap normally of two pound or nine up to from two to nine a pound also called laptop generally they are more expensive than a desktop computers and we also have uh, tablets uh, pc uh, web embedded handheld computers uh, now i mean all these computers are almost replaced by uh, uh, by the smartphones okay so there are uh, different types of held hand held devices uh, like personal digital assistants so you can uh, you can use calendar appointment book address book calculator notebook but you you have now experienced that all these devices are you very rarely used why because smartphone are there and all the functionalities these types of functionalities are provided to you by smartphone so that's why people don't use it often so uh, as i told you there are different types of server there are some mid range server main range server super computers so super computers are very fast most powerful most expensive computers used for application requiring complex mathematical calculations and main frames are like middleman between mid range and super computers they are also very powerful expensive computers um, so they can, you can see that this is a super computer that this is a main frame computer and there are also mid range server they are powerful large computer that support up to few thousand computers so they are act like computer server to the rest of the computer system so with that i think i am going to end this lecture because we are running out of time inshallah in the next lecture we are going to discuss some other important topics so till then take care and allah hafiz